Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Many of us, as we move through our life, we find ourselves kind of lonely. You know, like we're all by ourselves. And I want to talk about that a little bit today and what we can do about that and what's really going on there. We're really not alone. There's 6.2 billion people here on this earth and a lot of times we go to a social event and there's hundreds of people around us. However, we feel alone. We can be married for 23, 24, 30 years, 50 years, sometimes still feel alone. Or we can have this huge family with all this energy around us and somehow still feel alone. So what's that all about? Well, really what it's about is a unsettling within ourselves sometimes of not really knowing who we are, not being comfortable with ourselves, having to have those distractions around us. So we're distracted away from our loneliness and we feel that if we're by ourselves, our mind starts thinking about our life and where we are in our life and there's a dissatisfaction in that not an acceptance of it. So therefore loneliness somewhat sets in when we feel like we're all alone in the world, no one cares, no one loves us, we're not um, mattering to anything, to anyone. And that's really not true. You see the answer to all of this is, as I mentioned yesterday, get back in this moment here, right here, right now, where we live life and there's a decision to be made and it's really as simple as that as making a decision that even though you may feel alone you can change that and the first thing you change is not going getting more friends not acquiring more things you learn how to be still and be still within yourself and listen to those things that your mind is talking about because it's not really terror or trauma it's just a loaning to learn who you are and an acceptance from yourself to yourself. Many times loneliness has a lot to do with us not accepting who we are, or being dissatisfied with how we've turned out or what we do or what our career is and thinking we could have done more but we didn't and how come we didn't because we're not worth it and we're not smart enough. That creates loneliness, that negative self-talk. I want all of us to really, really take a look as I mentioned in the tune-up yesterday what we are, who we are, and what we're good at. You know, many of us are good at a lot of things, but we're really good at one thing. Find out what that thing is and build upon it. Also, if you're one of those people today feel kind of alone and beaten up from the economy, from the last three years of what's going on in this country, well, you're not alone. There's a lot of us. However, this is your life, this is your situation, and this is your predicament honor that and quit beating yourself up because you're in this predicament and then use today and the potential you have today to start pulling yourself through it and out of it. It's not always about money and it's not always about getting a job. The better you feel about yourself the more potential you will create for yourself. Did you hear that? The more you forgive yourself and accept yourself the more potential you create for yourself because you're wasting a lot of negative energy, loathing, feeling lonely, and not feeling good enough. You're good enough. Today, let's stretch a little bit. Let's be a little uncomfortable and stand where it's uncomfortable and learn how to just null that out so you don't notice it anymore, and then move forward one moment at a time and really accept yourself, forgive yourself, and decide, using that word decide, that you're gonna change it. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary. Wishing you an extraordinary day with yourself. Bye-bye.